ஹாய் குட் டே வாழ்க வளமுடன் ஐ ஹாவ் பின் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் லைஃப் ஃபோர்ஸ் ரைட் அண்டு லைஃப் ஃபோர்ஸ் இன் அதர் வேர்ட்ஸ் கால்ட் prana in tamil veer sometimes life force is also called life energy because that is the one which is essential in us that is making us to live to enjoy this very life medical science explored so much about the human system yet they are not able to locate and find out explore the life the life energy so therefore there are a few uh experts siddhas rishis philosophers no ancient gurus uh, they also explored this matter of life energy they have given us some clues so i am talking uh, about the clues given by vedatri maharishi a south indian saint he calls that as the whirling particles whirling life force particles and they do that in the field of biomagnetism he uses two terms biomagnetism and life force particles now i intend to explain this the scientific way then i found that it is important that a common man has some basic science knowledge so we started with pressure and force now we will go further the pressure is there in our system that is making the life tick in us so you have a blood pressure you have pressure of the food processing water processing air processing but for pressure it won't work now we understand pressure now let us start from the water fall you must have seen some water falls or over tanks if a water falls from 10 feet what would be the pressure 100 feet what would be the pressure on 1000 feet what would be the pressure obviously this is will all now this increase in pressure enables the water to flow faster when it flows faster so much of water quantity per second will be more for 10 feet it may be 10 liters per second this is just an example no to make it clear if it's 100 feet it may be 100 liters per second and 1000 feet it will be 1000 liters per second as the pressure increases the flow rate increases 
the flow speed increases likewise we have seen that the electricity there is voltage and that's pressure higher the voltage higher the pressure 110 is something less but 220 is definitely higher then 440 in 10000 22000 so you will see yourself that uh, the voltage increases the pressure increases when the pressure increases the flow will increase what is that flow we call in electricity is the current you know when you say current in the river it only means the flow likewise a pressure a voltage a potential difference a electrical charge higher the charge higher the flow higher the charge higher the current so now you understand uh, how we relate a waterfall to electricity right it is simple but then you know the people who went on exploring that knowledge they gave us so many ideas about it so the pressure is the voltage and the flow is the current what is it really flow in electricity what flows or the electrons where do they flow they flow in the wire right so now the wire you imagine as a very very uh, huge pipe right to which you connect the waterfall right so you can imagine how much water will flow how much current will flow yes it flows as the current flows on its way it branches out right a part of it goes right part of it goes left part of it goes straight what happens is the current is distributed right when the current is distributed the flow is also distributed likewise there is a pressure and it flows it branches out right why does it branch out because it finds a big mountain on the way and it can't over run the mountain so it goes on the sides of the mountain this is what we call as resistance obstacle to flow likewise it happens in electricity that when the current moves it come across the electric uh, obstructions we call resistance we call load in the house the resistance is or the uh, bulbs we use the fridge we use the heater we use the fans we use they are all offer resistance to the flow of current so now we have voltage denoted by a capital letter v and current denoted by a capital letter i resistance denoted by a capital letter r there was a great guy called ohm and there is a law called ohm's law some of you must have heard about it what ohm's law is telling v is equal to i into r or the other way so v is directly proportional to the current right and that effect on the resistance and the between the current and resistance 
the flow and the resistance they are inversely proportional let's forget about the proportional and all we simply understand an equation is there in electricity which says v is equal to i into r and what is power power is the ability to move right so that is e into i they call now what is energy energy is how much power for how much time you give the power into time is energy called what when energy you say it's called watt hour just power is watt so now this is what happens when in the brain cells they try to communicate with each other whenever a communication takes place a spark jumps and this is where we need to understand electricity when a spark jumps it shows there is a potential difference or voltage difference when you take two wires of electricity and connect up a spark will jump the spark jumps because of differential voltage and flow of current a spark is made you right here one more thing is given to us by the science there is no electricity without magnetism and the property of magnetism gives rise to electricity if you have seen some of the old bicycle they would have put a dynamo which would be touching the back wheel as you pedal the back wheel the dynamo stem will rotate as it rotates it produces current or electricity it will burn the light dome the same principle is adopted in power generations you know we have hydro electric projects thermo electric projects right and everywhere they make the turbine to rotate and the turbine rotate and it goes through the alternator and that also rotates and that produces electricity here one important thing all of us should note electricity and magnetism they coexist without magnetism there is no electricity without electric charge there is no magnetism this is the beauty of electromagnetism right now today we go to the hospitals or clinics they do lot of diagnostics e c g electrocardiogram what are they measuring they are measuring the heart impulses which are tiny electrical impulses that gives the result in the form of a graph they study the graph to see for a wrong impulses which might lead to the heart problem and also the recent developments in medical diagnostics is called mri mri scanning right there's nothing but magnetic resonance in fraction so they say that the system in our body 
each and every cells of our body organs generating magnetism so by sending another magnetic field they receive and measure the magnetic field from our organs and say this organ is okay this is slightly damaged or this is weak and things like that so we should understand this body is a energy machine is working on electricity and magnetism right and added to that hydraulics working in this body it is by the blood the flow of the blood works as hydraulics then it is also pneumatics a lot of air goes inside opens up the lungs transforms oxygen so pneumatic so there is hydraulic there is pneumatic there is electricity there is magnetism and these are all producing the mechanical movements of our legs and limbs that's a machine so our body is a electromagnetic machine let us understand that my body is a electromagnetic machine this electric magnetism comes from my life force or life energy so life energy produces electricity and magnetism and we will see further in the next video thank you good day